Hello and uh, welcome back to my shed. Um, as I've said previously, I was uh, given this 12 inch Clark bandsaw and it worked well for a while, but the bearing on the top wheel, because um, this is a three wheel bandsaw, I'll just take the cover off to show you. This is a three wheel bandsaw and the bearing on the top wheel, which provides the adjustment for tracking on the blade, um, went and because the bearing was out I couldn't adjust that wheel and um, I couldn't track the blade just throwing the blade all the time making the saw pretty useless so I thought I'd have a go at fixing it the problem was with it being able to adjust the tracking this bearing which is a push fit um, I developed quite a bit of play and consequently it was sitting on this pinion and wobbling like that so any attempt at adjusting the bandsaw was pretty fruitless because every time you, you set the bandsaw up for play the wheel would rotate and he'd wobble and the blade would come off so he was now wore out is basically what it is now i measured the bearing and it's 10 mil inside diameter and it was 16 mil outside diameter and 14 mil in depth so i had a look on ebay to see what i could find because i mean ebay is the fountain of all things and i managed to find the closest size i could get was this one and i'm sure it's made of best grade chineseium so i'm not that confident but anyway whatever we, we shall try um this one's 10 in 10 mil inside diameter 16 mil outside diameter and 15 mil in depth so it's a millimeter deeper but that's about the only difference I could find and this is the closest size I could get so I'll get the bearing mounted into the wheel and put it on the bandsaw and see how we get on I'm not going to try and film that because there may be some swearing and basically I just want to help you fix your bandsaw not demonstrate how I did mine okay see you in a second Well, I give this bearing a gentle tap in with a piece of wood. It seems to fit in there okay. I'm going to give it a bit of a grease up and try and get it mounted onto the saw. Grease into there. And put a massive amount in, but it should be enough to lubricate it. I'll put a little bit on the bearing as well. The, the pinion, sorry. And see how we get on. That fits. And that seems to work okay. I'm not sure how long this bearing's going to last. It doesn't sound like the best, best of quality, but I suppose we'll give it a chance and see how we get on. Nice bit of grease in there. I'll stop you now and I'll get it on the saw. Well, I've managed to get the bearing on, or in, sorry, and the thing bolted up to the saw, and it seems to be okay. There's no play whatsoever, whereas before this thing was weebling and wobbling out, probably like three or four mil at the top of the stroke. So, um, hopefully that's sorted. I'm a bit worried. It doesn't seem to be running that freely. I think buying a cheap Chinese in bearing may come back to uh, bite me, but we'll see. I'll get the blade on, tuned up and set up, and we'll see how this thing cuts. Well, I think we've got a bit of a success. I um, obviously uh, put the blade on, easy to track, nothing like it was before. It's very difficult to track before. But this time it was easy to track, and the cut saw seems to be working well enough, cutting well enough. So for a cheap Chinese and bearing, I think uh, I've got my saw back in action. I'll put the saw on a sec, just so you can see it working. But it's quite noisy, so I won't leave it on for long. Hang on, excuse the way. So there we go, it seems to be working okay. I want to tap to try and cut anything and hold the camera at the same time, because that sounds a disaster waiting to happen. It could cost me a couple of fingers, and I've no intention of doing that. So anyway, to sum up, 
Um, when I got this saw originally, it was given to me, and I was grateful for that. But it was difficult to track and got worse and worse and worse. And in the end, it was impossible to track the blade. And I managed to track it down to it being that bearing that I demonstrated earlier. Now, I tried to buy a decent quality bearing, but wasn't able to find one in the right size online. I expect if I went to a local bearing vendors, if there is such a thing, but I suppose I could find one. Um, I'd have probably been able to get one. Couldn't get one labelled um, for the Clark brand anywhere. But that was that. So in the end, I end, end up importing. Not importing, I just bought a couple from China, and that's where they came from. And I got two bearings from China, and I think they were about three quid. Three pounds, I don't know what that is in dollars, maybe four fifty. So less than nothing, really. And for that, I've got a saw that seems to be working quite well. To just reaffirm the sizes, the bearings were... 10 millimeters inside diameter, 16 outside diameter, and um, they were 15 mil in depth. For three quid and a replaced bearing, things seem to be working. Don't know how long these bearings are going to last, mine, because they didn't feel that salubrious when I was putting them together, but I've packed it all in grease and we'll give it a go. So as a few weeks' work, we'll tell whether I'll fix the saw permanently or not. One thing I do have to do is sharpen the blade because it is blunt as a bear's behind. But that's another story, and that's, not, that's nothing to do with bearings. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if this helps you sort your saw out, that was the in, intended um, purpose of this video. And for the sake of a small bearing and a little bit of fiddling, it seems I've got my saw working again, and if you've got the same problem, you may be able to do exactly the same. So anyway, that's all from Saw Shed for now. I'm quite chuffed, got a saw working, so cheers and gone. See you the next time.